the Aintree Juvenile Handicap Hurdle is next up. A 0-120 for the four-year-old hurdlers. And we've got Ruth Noir's fanning at the top. For David Robertson, Armour White, Derek Hinton, Native Waters, Craig Beckwith, Fagara, Air, Derek Hinton, Tegan Knox, Matt Cooper, Moushe Le Siflet, and Pascalina Lansoff. For Padre Gogan, Padan Project, Martin Lidham, Bobble Hat, Alex Cherry, and Tahira Told You So. For James Shea, filled off 10. Called in and away. Short run to the first. Got three greys in this. One of them for Alex Cherry in the lead. Bobble Hat. Settled all that well. Wants to go a lot quicker than the jockey wants it to. The other two greys are both Derek Hinton's Armour White and Fargera Air. Bobble Hat is in the lead. Armour White and Ruth Noir's fanning. As they get over the next. I suppose I've decided with that over the season with that Ruth Noir's fanning to give it a sort of a French sounding name. I don't know what I decided to do with that, I just did because otherwise it's, how do you say it? Ruthy Noir's fanning? I don't know. But I just think Ruth Noir's fanning sounds quite good. Uh, apologies to David Robertson if that's not what it's supposed to sound like. If it's wrong, let me know. There's no point now because it's the last week of the season. But anyway, you know what I mean. Bobble Hat in the lead from I'm All White in second. So Gray's first and second. And Tegan Knox is third. Native Waters has moved through into fourth. Then Fargara Air is after that one. With Pascalina Lansoff. And Tahira Told You So. Ruth Noir's fan in. Moushe Le Siflet. And finally Padan Project. As they head towards the fourth. I'm probably going to give Padraig Hogan the award for the best names. Some great names. Moushe Le Siflet. And what did we have the other day? Orster Died Tromain. That's another one of his. They get over the next. And then there's that. What's it called? Fischl van Luschloss or something. You know, he sits there on purpose making them up. See if he can get us all tongue tied and confused. But it's good. Pascalina Lansoff, quite a normal sort of name for a Padre Hogan. Also, of course, he's got the best one of the lot, Gadus, which is definitely my favourite name of the season. I don't know why, I just like saying that. Anyway, back to this one, and the Greys are 1, 2, 3 now. I tell there's a definite feeling of end of term activity today, so last day of the season. The microphone that's used for commentating can go back in the cupboard. And over that one we go, rather than perching on the corner of my table. Running down towards the final three and a half furlongs and I'm All White is in the lead. Native Waters is second. Then Bobble Hat and Fargar are here. One or two of these haven't got into this at all so far. Uh, there's only two and a half furlongs to go. And I'm All White being challenged now by Native Waters. Bobble Hat's come through into third. Then comes Pascalina Lansoff. Moushe Le Siflet closest to us as they get over the second last. And it's Bobble Hat who's gone on. Bobble Hat then has gone a couple of lengths. Clear now. Bobble Hat from I'm All White. Then Pascalina Lansoff and Tegan Knox is the final flight. Bobble Hat's over in the lead. Here comes Tegan Knox with a strong looking challenge. But it's Bobble Hat in the lead. And up towards the line. Bobble Hat. He's going to hang on, is he? Or here comes Tegan Knox. It's going to be close. Bobble Hat's tying up. Tegan Knox is getting up. And Tegan Knox is taking it. Bobble Hat is second. Moushe is sifting it. Pascalina Lance off Native Waters. All the way back to Tahira. Told you so. And Bobble Hat couldn't last home. And Tegan Knox takes it. So Tegan Knox, the winner for Matt Cooper. Bobble Hat second for Alex Cherry. Moushe Le Siflet was third and Pascalina Lansoff was fourth, both for Padraig Hogan and the fifth horse to finish was Native Waters for Craig Beckwith.